What is up, humans of the cardboard? Welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. We got entire Mega 10 reveals today. I don't know how many people knew about this, but apparently today, this morning, earlier, was the day that Konami decided to distribute out all of their Mega 10, not all of their Mega 10s, but distribute their Mega 10s at least to the YouTuber community to have some of them open them on, uh, on camera and pretty much give us the entire set reveal. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go be, be going through that. I already really, really, like talked about earlier, made a really quick video talking about how cross out designator is now confirmed for the TCG. Uh, we will have that in about two weeks. That is insane news. That is an insanely impactful card for the metagame. We will see what people try to do with that. Kind of like a called by the grave esque card. So really cool. Anyway. Um, today, we're going to be going through the entire set, giving a quick review on, on everything. I don't want to spend too much time on any one thing, but going through it is going to be really, really cool. So 258 cards here. Do not forget that these sets are massive. So I am going to be skimming a good bit, but uh, you know, we're on UGP. It's not going to be the prettiest way to do this, but we're going to be going through it. Uh, and I also, um, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I was going to say. Okay, let's keep going. All right, looking at commons. Starting off with commons here, we'll go. We'll bump up the rarity as we go. We have a couple commons here. Moving through it. I'm not going to spend too much time unless there's anything particularly interesting that I think is worth noting. Not really. Not really. Cook talker inverted. Who cares? Gooky. But... Marine says deep sea, the sharks. Um, a lot of these were already commons, which I don't love, but whatever, I guess. Um, bing, 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 what's first? Bing, Bozu, Rose Girl, Gachiri. Nothing too crazy so far. Uh, Infernobles, these aren't even, these are the art, these are the easy ones to get, to be honest. We need like Renaud to be there. Um, See the Melfies, not bad. Um, Dark Lord stuff, still moving on this. Rika Queen Strand is actually not bad. That actually was an Exceed that was a couple of bucks, and I think Vespinato might have also been a couple bucks, uh, just because they they're uh, maybe maybe not Vespinato. I think it might have already been a common, but I know Strand is actually a pretty good one. Um, Lifeless Leaf Fish also at some point was actually like a decent um, amount, so that's pretty cool. Um, continue to move along here. Uh, Horn of Oliphant, all this stuff. Still moving through the commons, nothing too crazy. I just want to skim slow enough so you guys can at least try and read them yourself if you want. Captain Oliver, this one is not the relevant one, I believe. Penguin Brave, Joyous Melfi's. Is Joyous Melfi's the good one? Hold on. Is Joyous Melfi's the one that's like actually? I think this one's the one that was like a has been a couple bucks. I actually think that one's a pretty good one as well. Actually, that's pretty cool. I actually like that. Um, let's see, rookie for hire, Jack in the hand, still a common lane. Um, Tribrigate Oath, already a common, free range monsters. That's actually not bad. I think this is the one that gives you an, an immediate normal summon. That actually could be a good card in a certain deck, like actually. Um, the Adam Spader Crystals and Laputite and Resonance, nothing too crazy there. Cyrus Accelerator, Goki Destroy Ogre. And then we get immediately into the Prismatic Secret Risk. I guess this is in, um, this is in like uh, uh, alphabetic rarity. So anyway, moving into those, we have Sky Striker Ace Rose. That's actually pretty good because I believe other than Rose's original ultra rare printing, it only had the Starlight. So this is something like kind of in between higher rarity, but probably a little easier to get than the ultra at this point. So that's actually pretty nice. I know that was a couple of bucks. Cross Sheep, a card that will, I guarantee come up during in fusion combo decks or whatever uh, later down the line. So this is another really cool printing for this. It had a hollow, but this one is even nicer than that. Same thing with Paralogue Seed. Paralogue Seed, I think had a super in an OTS pack, but it was actually pretty expensive. So this one might look even sexier and two will help you get a hold of that even easier. Malice Lady of Lament, just rubbing this in my face that I love Lair and they gave a, they gave a prismatic secret to Malice and not Lilith. Like, come on, dude. Invoked, Ogo, uh, invoked Ogoities. This is nice and it's only printed in super, so that's a nice rarity bump. Shao, that's definitely welcome for Dragon Maid players. That card is not super, super cheap. Um, Fusion Deployment. This is another cool one. This card seems like it'll come up at some point. We just haven't seen it yet, so keep it in mind. Um, Machina Metal Cruncher. This is nice. This is a card that has floated up and up as Earth Machine keeps seeing, um, you know, like rogue playability, definitely. 
um, Dogmatica, and then we get to the, oh, sexy, Dogmatica Ecclesia the Virtuous. Now, I know this is a prismatic secret, but honestly, this might be better than having it be an ultra, uh, because I know the ultras in this set are going to be really hard to pull as well. We'll see, though. I, it'll definitely help, right, uh, because the entire Dogmatica package needs to be um you know brought down a little bit but that's really really cool it's a rarity bump actually no it's not big well because they have uh, the starlight but still it's nicer for on a, a rarity bump for the more budget players um guy the magical Land of dragons cool this guy support dogmatica punishment they get, i think we got a super in an ots pack which was again kind of like parallel exceed getting up there but punishment a little bit sexier of a, re, of a printing now should all schism this is huge shadal is normally a very very budget deck except for schism except for schism and now schism gets a reprint that will absolutely help um you know budget players play shit all a little more uh, you know wallet friendly ice dragons prison another really good one to see here these are all cards that i i wanted to see um you know all come most of them coming from the same set in um rise of the duelist so really cool win the wind channeler this card actually could be really good in a wind deck it really really could so definitely keep an eye on it uh, Cell Glare, the Luminous Lunar Dragon. Is this the one that's like, yeah, okay, so it's this one. It's kind of like a Monarch card. It's, it has the Monarch stats and it does some cool things um, because it's like a walking compulse, which is kind of cool. So definitely one to, that's that's cool that it gets a rarity bump there. We have a rarity bump to Fractal as well. Not a super expensive card necessarily, but still a cool printing to get a rarity bump. Same thing with the Lulu and Lalo, both getting rarity bumps as well. I believe they were both ultras. I want to say they were both ultras in um, Phantom Rage. That's really nice. Farajit getting a, a slightly slight rarity bump from the ultra as well, but not as obviously as big as uh, the uh, blah, 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 blah. Starlight. Jesus. Uh, Tribal Gate Revolt ends up in here. That's really nice as well. That's a common, and it's arguably one of the best cards in the entire archetype. So that's really huge. Um, Nyan Nyan gets a, a rarity bump as well. Adam Answer Sign, Adam Emancipator Signs gets a reprint. This card, I believe this is the Monster Reborn one, right? Yeah, so this card's insane. Like, definitely, this is insane. Uh, so this card definitely needs a rarity bump. Uh, Drytron Zeta gets a rarity bump. Uh, App Cologne and Construct, the alt art gets a, gets a prismatic secret bump, which is so, so clean. And then we also have the I don't even know what you call these. These are like the, the secondary gods. They appeared in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, but it's uh, Raviel, Yuria, and Hamon, um, which is cool. Um, I love them. It, they're cool. Like they're 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 kind of knockoff, you know, Egyptian gods, but they are really cool. And it's cool to see them get like a, a really cool rarity like that, even uh, for modern standards. The last one is also the 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 newer version of Raviel that they put in that structure deck so very very cool that sums up the prismatic secrets pretty nice there to be honest there's some really good stuff in there moving on we move down this list we have a couple of rares this is going to be rares now sales pitch pascalis union driver might actually be one because i think he was an ultra he might be a couple bucks um guy of the fierce knight origin infernoble knight emperor charles whatever spiral fusion tidying this one is big this card's been significant amounts of money and i think it's a, a lot of times either a two of or a three of in dragon mates so that's very very nice speedword cart turbo i know that card was hyped up because of the new speedword support so that card uh, is nice to see a reprint raiders wing bring in the glory dragon raiders knight jaja and fan fan um i think that's actually a bump for jaja going from common to rare fine fan fan that's actually a, a, a lower bump uh but cool phantom knights rank of magic force tri brigade airborne assault that's actually nice because if if airborne assault it's one of those cards that like could definitely be really good in a specific tri brigade deck um but it hasn't yet but if it if it ever did and it only kept that that um secret rare printing it might have actually been really hard to get and actually get bought out pretty easily so that's nice uh, a bunch of virtual world stuff kind of kind of getting a uh, lower rarities here not that they were any expensive but cool i guess um then we move to super rares so for super rares we have a nice rarity bump the gravity controller i'll definitely be looking at that armory call fiendish portrait shiny black squatter uh this card actually could be playable in b troopers because you go through goki pole goki pole can summon this out of the deck and pop a monster at the same time which is actually pretty strong lingaribo gets another printing i think it's a lower rarity this time knock division gets another hollow magical hound cool out to like floodgates and stuff alomerus for trap tricks i think that's a lower rarity deep sea aria 
Uh, this is the search spell. That's cool because the search spell was a secret rare. It wasn't super expensive, but if a really good Sea Serpent deck did come up, that card could be kind of crazy. So that's nice to see. Um, heavy forward as well. Like I was talking about earlier with Metal Cruncher. Um, the uh, Earth Machine deck has been seeing a good amount of that that rogue play. So this is one of the main searches for the deck. Very nice. Titano Cider finally getting a reprint from its secret rare printing. Super Sam Heavy Samurai Wagon, very cool. Turn Trooper, uh, Swordmaster Musashi, Artillery Catapult, Turtle, Thunderhand, Gizmek Okami, Infernoble Knight, Captain Roland. This is this guy. His original printing, I think, is common. Doesn't he have a bump from there, though, in an OTS pack or something? If he doesn't, this is a nice welcome. Um, uh, raise and rarity uh, Durendal this is a cool one because I think Durendal was a, was an ultra and it's the search cards one of the best search cards for Infernoble Knights I would say the only cards that really worry you budget wise for Infernobles are Gearfried, uh, Renaud and this card and this card's not even bad you just need it as a three of so um, not even bad but this does shave off a couple bucks for anybody trying to get the hold of the Infernoble uh, core very cool um, and then you have Halt Claire Joy Use the lesser played ones uh, Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow, the cool Link Monster, that's nice. Uh, Stained Greaves for Phantom Knights gets a rarity bump here, that's nice for them. Shenshen gets a, a rarity degrade, a downgrade I should call it, um, that's fine. Uh, Arc Rebellion Exceed Dragon, again going from another secret down to a super, that's also nice. Uh, Trivergate Rugal gets a rarity bump, definitely, definitely needed. This is one of the cards right next to Revolt of like, why is this card common? Please give this card a not common printing, please. Um, Junior Transversor already has that printing. Exceed Import, Warning Point, Adam Peter Seeker, and Analyzer ending up in here. That is actually really, really nice. They are, I believe, Seeker rares in their original printings. This could bring down, make them a little more affordable. Hopefully we see Researcher in the Ultra slot. Um, then we have uh, Drytron Beta and Gamma and Delta here going, getting super rares, which is very nice. I don't know, remember exactly what all their original printings were, but I think some of them were rare so that's nice chaos summoning beast picari and okay we're, okay so chaos summoning beast is the last of the supers then we move into ultras which is i believe is the final slots here okay starting off here with something huge that kind of needed to be in here picari and achichi at ignister these are the two one card starters for at ignister so it's very very nice to see them here um in the in the ultra rare slot getting a reprint um, there we also have Gizmet Kaku. That's actually another card that has been floating up there just because it is only printed in Secret Rare and it is actually a decent card. Also, the Earth Charmer gets a rarity bump to Ultra. Ignister A Island, that's that's even bigger than these two. This was like a three of that was like 25 bucks. So this card definitely needed to go up there. Ignisters are officially going to be probably budget after this. Um uh, Mayakashi's manuscript here. Girasu the Orcus Mech Knight. That's so nice. Not being locked behind a secret rare paywall. This card will be a little more affordable now. Uh, King Beast Barbaros. Trius Hierarchia. This is really cool because this card, this card is kind of crazy. If you don't read this card, like this is a really crazy fairy support card, guys. So I definitely highly recommend read this and maybe pick up your ultra copies because this card's kind of insane. It will come up in a meta deck at some point. Ghost Mourner, Moonlit Chill, finally a reprint for that card. That's very welcomed. Anim Adorned, Archosaur, also welcome. Area the Water Charmer, awesome. I wonder if they gave all the water, all the Charmers links that we have so far, like the rarity ones, that'd be awesome. Outside of Light, I think, because I don't think I made it there. Uh, AI Contact, Burning Draw, Grave Digger's Trap Hole is a really good one as well. That card was like over 20 bucks as of recently. Uh, then we get to some Dogmatic cards. Theo and Aiden get rarity bumps. That's kind of nice. Uh, then you have Fleur de Lis. Very welcome as well. Fleur de Lis is one of the more expensive Dogmatic cards. Maximus ends up in here as well as a Nexus. Not, a, not as important. Albaz could be important though. Albaz I saw because of the announcement of the structure deck in the OCG. It kind of made a lot of people be on edge like, oh, oh. And, well, so a couple of things. He works better in Despia than he does any other archetype in that lore. And secondly, he's getting his own structure deck, which we have no idea where they want to go with that. But in a vacuum, he's a pretty good card, and I think they'll probably try and do him justice. So I definitely think it's a card you're going to want, and this just makes it a little more accessible. Same thing with Titanoclad, nice to have. 
Chaos Ruler, definitely nice to have. Very good rank, uh, generic Synchro 8. Nadir Servant, so happy to see this card here. I think outside of this card, like even the Dogmatica package is, isn't is great. It's still money, but it's it wasn't it wasn't horrible. But this card made it horrible. This card by itself to get a place that was like 300 bucks. That's way too much. Uh, very happy to see this here. Depending on how low it goes, I might actually pick it up. We have that Emancipator Friends. Triple Tactics Talents, that's another huge one checked off the list. Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon, that's nice to see. Phantom Knights of Torn Scales, nice to see. Nerval and Keras get rarity bumps to Ultra, very nice. Same thing with Gigi and Lili. Alpha the Master of Beasts, this is a card that could just come up as like a really good side deck option depending on the format, so it's nice to have your copies there. Divine Arsenal Double Azus, another huge one to cross off the list, um, yeah. Trivergade Shrake, another good one. That's one of the Trivergade cards that can be a little more expensive, so it makes them a little bit more budget. Mahama the Fairy Dragon, nice rarity bump. Ad Emancipator Researcher, that is huge as well. That was really the only card in the Ad Emancipator core that was like money, money. So really good to see that finally get a reprint because um, that card was going to get, that card's been crazy for a long time. Um, then you have all three of the extract monsters not too huge i think these two are seek i think they're all secrets actually so not that big of a deal none of them are that expensive either and then we get to uh some shadal stuff funny enough re shadal wendy nice get an ultra i think that's an upgrade from a super uh nail shadal ariel i think that's also an upgrade from a super then we have dark beckoning beast and opening of the spirit gates i think these cards might have been commons in the structure deck they come out in with the sacred beast so that's kind of nice that they got a couple of their cards actually in hollow because that deck that those cards do actually do something they're a nice little engine there was a time where people were literally just playing that engine in uh in um eldlich and it was a legit deck not too long ago so that's very very cool to see um then we finish up here with the brand brand new cards still ultra rares though we have true light this is like the um that one card that Dark Magician has, it looks just like this, but it has Dark Magician on it. Does, they do almost the same thing, but slightly different. Very cool for blue eyes. Then we have Magician's found a Salvation and Piercing the Darkness. This one is Dark Magician slash Dark Magician Girl um, support. And this one is mainly Dark Magician support, but it could work in any like normal monster um, kind of deck. So that's pretty cool. And then we finish up here with probably the most hype thing we've seen the entire day. I talked about this earlier, cross out designator. This will be the chase card of the set. It is an ultra. And there's one very important thing to keep in mind that even if the rare, even if the pull rates are completely even, and there's no short printing, like last year was confirmed that there was no short printing. There are so many ultras and you only get six ultras in a box that you would have to open a case and opening an entire case of this product, you would average pulling one copy to two copies of the, the ultra rare you're looking for. It's somewhere between one and two. Um, and I think it's closer to one. So you have, a, you, have a, you have the highest chance of just pulling one copy of the ultra you want. So keep that in mind. If you're really looking for a play set of designator, even though the play set might be more expensive than a case, it may be worth it because otherwise you might need two to three cases to actually pull all three. Um, but that's obviously up to you. If there's other stuff you're looking for, maybe it's still worth. I don't know, but that's just something to keep in mind. This will be this year's Dragoon for sure. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. The only thing off the top, top of my head that I can really think of that's not in here is access code. And I believe pros did Prosperity have a chance was, I can't remember if, if Blazing Vortex is one of the sets listed for the Megatons this year. Is it? Hold on. Turning code rise of Phantom Ray Secret Surgeon. No. So it doesn't look like it was listed there. So, okay, never mind. Then I won't say prosperity. That'll be next year's tins for sure. Um, and so I guess the big thing here is access code. Um, we'll see. Hopefully, we do still have the gold, um, the gold, maximum gold set coming in like just like less than two months or, yeah, about two months, I think. Um, and so. It could easily end up there and then we could cry about it for not being here, but it could easily end up there and be just as good. Um, maybe not as pretty, but you know, we get the reprint if you're a budget player, we'll take that nonetheless. So very, very cool. I think for the most part, there's nothing else that's huge that I don't see here. Droplets already getting reprints in like other things. Uh, so I'm not really worried about droplets. Um, Chamber Dragon Maid is in here, but it's already confirmed for maximum gold. So I don't care. 
Um, and plus they already printed all the other ones, reprinted them in, in, in gold, in that gold rare. So honestly, I'm not mad about that because uh, you can actually get an entirely gold core of the of the, the small monsters in the main deck. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I I mean, listen, it's the Megatons. There's going to be a lot of good stuff in here. There's going to be some stuff you probably don't care about in here. So just hopefully if you're going to buy it sealed, you pulled what you're looking for. Or if you're just going to do singles, hopefully the price of whatever you're looking for dropped enough where you just feel really good about it so really really cool hopefully this helped you at least let you know really quick going through everything what exactly is coming in here what you can be excited for and let me know down in the comment section down below what you are most excited for from here um what you're most excited to pick up because i've got a list i definitely have a list of stuff i've been waiting on because it's been too damn expensive and i'll probably be going in after this so cannot wait let me know in the comment section your thoughts there i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching as always I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.